Welcome the Deputy Director of Human and Cultural Services for the City of Jackson. David Lewis is here. Hey, David. Hey, Paul. How's it going? Thanks for having me back. Yeah, thanks for being here. Second time guest. I appreciate you being here to talk about the excitement of the holidays in the capital city. The city with soul happening tomorrow night, Capital City Lights. This is a project many, many months in the making, many partners in the making. Can you tell me briefly, how did it come to be? That's a great question. So a couple of years ago, we started doing a downtown holiday open house event. This is in partnership with like Team Jackson, Downtown Jackson Partners, and a couple of downtown groups. Uh, at the same time, the Department of Archives and History was doing their Christmas by Candlelight tour. We've been trying to align those for years. Last year, during the pandemic, we couldn't do anything. And this year, we started early. That's always the key for holiday events is to start early, even though it seems crazy. So this year, we started early. We started just bringing everyone to the table. And before we knew it, we had like 30 organizations together. We were meeting on a pretty regular basis, and it kept growing and kept growing and kept growing. This is pretty spectacular. And, and when I say spectacular, I am not exaggerating the amount of activities and celebrations, festivities that'll be going on tomorrow night in downtown Jackson. I know you don't want to leave anyone out, but maybe give us some of the highlights of the night. Absolutely. So, of course, we've got Christmas by Candlelight Tour, which is the Department of Archives and History Tour. That is going to encompass the State Capitol Building, the two Mississippi museums, the lawn out in front of the old Capitol Museum, which is going to be totally decked out like they said they've never had before. Uh, and then the Governor's Mansion. And the theme at the Governor's Mansion is all around children's activities. So they're going to have a trackless train. They're going to have Santa Claus. And all these places are going to have special music, um, special treats, holiday treats. And then we've also got part of Capitol Street shut down. We're going to have markets, so Magnolia Sunset Markets, Jackson Flea, the Shopkeep Co., Thimble Press. Um, they're all going to be offering holiday shopping. So it's going to be a great opportunity to come down and start getting ahead and start on that shopping as well tomorrow night. But the, the celebration continues. It goes all the way down Capitol Street towards Lamar, to Lamar Street, where you'll see a little bit of some of what are your favorite aspects of the Christmas parade was. We can't do it this year, but we'll have a lot of those first responder vehicles out with the lights on and kids can come and take their photos with the fire trucks and the police cars. We're going to have vintage photos of downtown posted up on some of the storefronts. And then as you continue down towards the planetarium, you'll see the dome will be lit up. We'll have food trucks down there. The Museum of Art will be open with their open house. The Arts Council is going to have a temporary art exhibit happening at the Art Center. And then Ballet Mississippi is doing the Nutcracker. And the Weston has an ice skating rink. So it just continues to grow and grow and grow. Whoo, take a breath after all of that. I mean, just it's something for everyone in downtown Jackson tomorrow night. Activities are going to start about 4 o'clock. They're going to run until 8. But then there's some kind of after-party activities happening all the way until 11 p.m. David, I know you are a big believer in community collaboration. And this event really would not have happened without bringing the community to the table. Absolutely. So my big thing is making sure that there's always a seat at the table. You know, that's something that we've learned over time is the best way to foster community growth. So with this event, we always kept that door open and we even still have it open, you know, right up until the last minute. And so we've continued to grow and get partners at the table. And each time we do that, something exciting happens. Somebody's like, I've got this great idea of what we want to do. And they put everything they've got into this. And that's what's made this event so possible. And again, it's still a, you know, a work in progress. We're excited to see what how it turns out tomorrow night, but uh, it will be back, I'm sure. And we want everybody to come out and we want everybody to then share their experience with everybody. So David, earlier this week, a uh, press conference was held to kick off the city's bicentennial, 200 years and 13 months worth of celebration. A lot of festivities happening throughout the year and a chance for Jacksonians to celebrate. You're also the chair of that bicentennial committee. Give me a snapshot of what we can expect over the next year. 
Well, as we started to prep for this celebration, we knew that we were still dealing with a pandemic and there's a lot of fluidity. So we didn't want one big moment that might have to get shifted around. Instead, we looked at the dates of the celebration and the way that that structures or really how the city was laid up and the state, you know, did their thing to set up the capital city. It's actually about 13 months between when they said, here's where it's going to go and here it is. And so we said, let's take those 13 months. Let's just uh, create an opportunity to celebrate all of our existing events as they are, not try to create something new, but celebrate what we have and who we are. The St. Patty's Day Parade will be returning. And so all 13 months long, you're going to see these amazing art exhibits. You're going to see celebrations within each you know, museum, business. There are going to be secret menu items. It's going to be all these different fun things to for, for the citizens to really invest in, but for people to come from out of the state and out of the city to come in and check out what we're doing here in Jackson. It's going to be an amazing year and an amazing event tomorrow night. Capital City Lights in downtown Jackson, 4 until 11 p.m. What a night to celebrate. We'll put links in our show notes. David Lewis, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, Paul. Talking about my city.